hi everyone it's hazel and welcome to another video today i'm going to share to you an update on my renal function panel it's been about three months since my last blood workout and so last week i went to get it done so today that's what i'm going to share to you I'm quite excited to share about it because I've worked so hard to increase my EGFR. If you've watched my last video, I wasn't so happy about it because my EGFR went down to 19. And when I spoke to my nephrologist, she and I had a conversation about dialysis treatment. And quite honestly, that is not something that I look forward to. And the thought of going through dialysis treatment is uh, something that I'm not prepared as of this time. And having said that, I know that there is no cure to the kidney disease. The reason for the smart diet and the healthy lifestyle that I follow is to slow down the progression of my kidney disease, avoid complications, and overall to have a quality, the best quality and the longevity of life. So now before I show to you my latest renal function panel result, I just want to say that it is an utmost importance to have your blood workout done regularly so that you can monitor your numbers, your potassium, your phosphorus, your glucose, your BUN, your creatinine, as well as your protein in your urine if you have that problem. And the reason why you need to monitor your numbers is that that's where you're going to base your smart diet. So if you know your potassium level, your phosphorus, your glucose, your calcium, then you know what diet you're going to create. So is it going to be a low potassium diet? Is it going to be a low protein diet, low phosphorus diet? It all depends on your numbers. So regularly you always go back to your numbers and that's where you're going to base your smart diet. So for the past 12 years, that's all that I've been doing. Monitor my blood tests, look at my numbers and create a diet based on those numbers. So I hope that this will help some of you because I know that some of you write to me and say that they don't know what to eat. They have a hard time creating their own diet. So that's the basis of your diet, your numbers. So the numbers in your blood test are going to be your basis in creating your smart diet. So now let's take a look at my chart. This blood test was done on March 10 of this year. If you want to know more about my previous renal function panel results, I'm going to add the links in the description box below. I have this video and this video, so make sure to uh, check out. So here's my latest one. Let's look. First, let's take a look at my urine analysis with Reflex Micro. This one looks great. In this chart, all components are within the normal range. Likewise, on this next chart, everything looks perfect. They are all within the standard range as well. Now, on this next slide, everything is normal except for two other components. Notice that there is a small amount of blood in my urine, plus there is also a significant amount of protein in my urine. Well, it's not surprising because of the fact that I have a CKD, and that is one of the signs of kidney disease. So beside those two components, everything else is perfect. Just like in this next chart, there is no bacteria in my urine. Everything is within the normal range, including this last slide, and everything looks amazing. This time, let's take a look at my renal function panel. My BUN is high at 42, sodium is normal, and my potassium is a little bit elevated. 
and chloride is at normal level. This next chart shows that my carbon dioxide and glucose are perfectly normal. My creatinine is a little high. My calcium is also normal, including my albumin. Finally, on this last chart, phosphorus and anion gap are within normal and my EGFR is at 21. Now, let's compare my renal function panel result to the one that was done on December 2020. BUN and sodium went up slightly, but it is still in the normal range. My potassium went from normal to a little bit elevated. Now in this chart, my creatinine has lowered by 0.7. All the rest went up, but they are still within normal. And then in this chart, my phosphorus and anion gap went down. My EGFR is at 21. And if I compare that from last time, it actually went up by two points. And I'm really quite happy that it went back to the 20s. So before I end up my video, I just wanted to let you know that the reason why my potassium went up this time is that I've had a lot of fruits and vegetables prior to my blood test. The day before, I had cauliflower, uh, lettuce, blueberries, strawberries, I think I had a little bit of avocado, a very thin slice of avocado, and one third of banana. So the reason why I've had so much of a, a plant-based diet that day because I really want to work hard to increase my EGFR but quite honestly it's very hard to sustain even if I've had also salmon that day I feel like it wasn't enough like I needed more to give me energy but anyway it worked so that's all for our video today i hope that this helps all of you who are watching right now and if you haven't make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell for notification and make sure to give me a thumbs up and share this video because you never know whom you're going to help so until next time and again always remember love your kidneys bye bye